This is De Blukklas. Which is Lithuanian for miracle. Oh! And apparently two million people stood hand in hand between here and Tallinn. Oh, really? In protest against the Soviet occupation. Amazing. Oh, wow. And it ended here. Sarah and I don't link arms, so mine stay free for pointing. So this is the cathedral. It's pretty. And then this is the bell tower. Wow. Which was built before the cathedral. Oh, that's odd. Yeah. So they like, built that and went, oh, we need to ring for something. Suppose <laughs> we ought to build that. We'll Are you have... going to order for me, like in the olden times? Me and my wife <laughs> will have beet beetroot soup. Do you have like a beetroot soup? And um, de de pelen... Zeppelini. 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 That's it. Let's do that. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much. While we await those delights, we enjoy a mug of gira. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? A slightly pungent traditional Lithuanian beverage made with fermented rye bread. And one two percent, you know, in Birmingham you give that to a baby. Cheers. To to bread. <laughs> Beetroot yogurt. Weird sensation. I can taste the yogurt, I can taste the beetroot, I'm just not sure they should be in a bowl together. Have a potato. Is it a palate cleanser? Do you I do, I actually quite like the soup. <laughs> I think everything should come with a little plate of hot potatoes. Yeah. I mean, it's basically chips for the table. Yeah. But in a fancier way. <laughs> we thought it would be lovely. <laughs> And I take loads of photos and it'll be a great experience. I can't look at anything but your face. I'm so glad you've got such a nice face. Breathe, breathe. I haven't let go. No. My knuckles are white. Yeah, it's wonderful, but I, yeah, my hands haven't been clasping onto something this tight since fill in the gap for a joke there. My mind's definitely not <laughs> writing jokes at this point. Our 40 minute flight sees us drift over the city centre, allowing us to relive the morning's magic. I can see the miracle tile from here. Oh, in the fancy Grand Duke's Palace. It looks pretty, isn't it? It's really pretty and it's really green. Really green. There's so many trees. When you look down, yeah. it's a sort of opening shot of like a Swedish crime drama. I'm surprised I haven't cried. Because I cried. <laughs> I cried when I first saw whales. They were animals, <laughs> <laughs> not the country. Not Cardiff. <laughs> I cried when I saw Cardiff. As we hit the hard stuff. Oh. Oh, no. Woo! <laughs> we head towards the heaviest exhibit in the park. This is our hotel for the night. Cosy. The ironically titled Chamber of Light. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like it. Despite its weight, the floor sits on springs. One of the most popular sculptures in the park. I just like the... Oh, you look like a little kid at a party. <laughs> Should we do a jump at the same time? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> The inspiration for the park was the discovery that within this humble forest was the absolute geographical dead centre of the continent of Europe. And that's the centre. So this is the thing. When they built the park, they did their calculations and they went, this is it. And they put this big lad down. And then they realised, it's not here. No! Yeah. It's nice though, isn't it? It is nice, if a little pointless. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, oh, look, that's yeah. a really nice bit, isn't it? How's yours looking, Sarah? Oh, that's looking pretty good, isn't it? You have some white amber, and there, this is a yellow amber. I'm annoyed you've got yeah. one. Wow. You're not hiding it. <laughs> Furious. Once buffed to a sheen, we turn our priceless slabs of sap into one-of-a-kind wearables by first drilling them. Oh, it smells amazing. How many injuries a year do you have here? <laughs> then threading them. I'm not very good at knots, so I wasn't in the Boy Scouts. Now it's for your good luck. That's actually quite fashion, I'd say. Oh, nice. Very nice. Lovely, and isn't look it? Look at that. You should start your own range. If you were completely honest with yourself, whose has come out best? I think because I found this special amber, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. You have a really beautiful amber piece. <laughs> hey, it was really nice to meet you. Yeah, not so bad too. <laughs> Turning the handle is Algamantus, and handling batter matters is Marite, who's been in the Sakotis game for 21 cake filled years. This guy's the sort of Paul Hollywood of uh, yeah. Lithuania. It's Paul and Prue, really, isn't it? Paul, it's Paul and Prue. Is that all going on this cake? Dave? Wow. What? And repeated. We're going to be here for years. 
I've got a career. I'm not sure I've ever anticipated a cake so much. I've been salivating for half an hour. According to my Fitbit, the exertions involved mean this might be the first calorie neutral cake. Sarah, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I am really excited to see how it's served. Like a sweet corn. After somewhere between 45 minutes and an eternity, the cake is cooked. Oh, wow. And all breath is baited as it is removed. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. It's our cake. It's That's our cake. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A ring of cake. Oh, yes. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. Very mm. flavoury. I'm just not going to stop now until someone <laughs> makes me. It's so good. Yeah. Oh. It's like a, somewhere between a cake and a biscuit. Mm. Our spit roasted sponge is a culinary triumph. Well, thank you. See you again. I hire Marita to become my personal Sakotu chef for the rest of time. See you soon. <laughs> Yay! And we leave.